The municipality of Bungabon is one of the 27 municipalities and five cities comprising the province of Nueva Ecija. It lies on the northeast part of the province, beneath the majestic Sierra Madre mountain range, traversing part of the provinces of Nueva Ecija and Aurora. The municipality is at present a second-class municipality with a population of more or less 65,000 inhabitants based on the 2015 National Census of Population. The primary industry and livelihood of the local people of Bungabon Nueva Ecija is farming. Their crops produced are palay, corn, different vegetables, and the famous and prime produce is the sibuyas or onion. Hence, Bungabon is tagged as the onion capital of the Philippines. As a developing municipality, the local economy is booming and eventually the development is always coupled with environmental concerns and problems. One of the serious problems attributed by its increasing population and booming economy is the increasing volume of waste and garbage as well. In managing the waste and garbage of the municipality, the local government established a controlled dump site which operated from 2009 to 2015. The dump site received about 50 cubic meter of mixed waste in garbage daily from the barangays, schools, market, and other institutions which are generating considerable volume of waste in garbages. With this truck of Typhoon Skabayan, Lando, in Nona, during the last quarter of 2015, the Digmala River overflowed and the water path had changed, which hit the controlled dam site as well. Hence, the waste and garbage were eventually carried away by the running river water. With the visit of the Environmental Management Bureau, or EMB, of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, during the last quarter of 2015, they found out that the open dam site is no longer environmental friendly. Hence, they ordered for the immediate closure and rehabilitation of the open controlled dam site. To comply with the law and to manage the domestic waste of the municipality, the previous local administration ordered all the barangays to establish their own Barangay Material Recovery Facility or BMRF in January 2016. In support to the BMRF, the local government opened up and operated a disposal facility at the flood-free area in Barangay Palomaria in Bungabon, Nueva Ecija. However, due to some serious violations regarding waste disposal, the National Solid Waste Management Commission or NSWMC, represented by Commissioner Romeo G. Hidalgo, filed complaints against the elected officials of the Municipality of Bungabon, Nueva Ecija, headed by the then Mayor Alan Sistos A. Gamilia to the Environmental Ombudsman in December 23, 2015. This is in violation of the Republic Act 9003 in grave misconduct prejudicial to the best interests of the service in other administrative offenses. The complaint is still active in the court in these days, and to resolve the said complaint, and as prerequisite for the temporary resolution, the local government has to religiously answer the complaint to the environmental ombudsman and let the operation of BMRF be maintained. To sustain the solution, the local government need to negotiate with the Metro Clark Waste Management Corporation for the collection and disposal of the municipality's generated waste. The memorandum of agreement with the said corporation took effect in April 1, 2016, and the two open dump sites were eventually ordered to be permanently closed. After the local elections in May 2016, Mayor Ricardo Ilagan Padilla won over the previous local chief executive of the town. The complaint has not yet been resolved 
before his assumption to office, the new local chief executive, Mayor Ricardo Ilagan Padilla, without any inhibition and retaliation, stood firm and took the responsibility to resolve the local waste problems of the municipality. As steps to resolve the problems on local waste management and to address solutions to the filed complaints relative thereto, the new local administration, under the leadership of Mayor Ricardo Ilagan Padilla, initiated the following bold steps and solutions. The permanent closure of the controlled dump sites, disposal of generated waste to sanitary landfill, converting of dump sites into controlled transfer station, waste processing and recovering, submitted final draft of the 10-year solid waste management plan, and the acquisition and establishment of the Modern Material Recovery Facility or MRF, the biggest and first in the province of Nueva Ecija. Uh, sa pagkakaroon po ng MRF, uh, posible po palang talaga na ma-achieve yung zero waste. Dahil lahat po ng aming basura, kagaya po ng nabubulok, ito po ay na-convert namin bilang uh, compost na tinatakilig po ng aming mga magsasaka. Yung naman pong mga plastic na aming ginigiling ay nagagawa po ng halo sa ginagawa namin bricks. Since the effectivity of the Memorandum of Agreement with the MCWMC or the Metro Clark Waste Management Corporation, the garbage hauler of the domestic waste and garbage of the municipality, the hauling fee expenses soared high from 50,000 to 600,000 pesos per month, a considerable amount of money that's supposed to be used in some social projects of the municipality. Before the acquisition of the MRF, the local government unit, with the local chief executive at the helm, launched a task force Kalinizan, a conglomeration of all sectors in the locality, to help out in managing, disposal, segregation, and treatment of domestic waste in garbage. The Information Education Campaign, or IEC, on waste management is intensified with the Municipal Environment and Natural Resources Office as the primary office responsible. The acquisition of the MRF is not an easy process for the local government unit as the local financial resources is limited and depleted. However, with the strong determination, encouragement, and will of Mayor Ricardo Ilagan Padilla, the move was put into a realization. Nabigyan ng katuparan na digay ng ating punong bayan na magkaroon ng modern material recovery facility sa pabamagitan ng pakikipagtulungan ng mga barangay. Nagkaroon ng agreement ang LGU at ang mga barangay na 50-50 cost sharing para sa pambili ng MRF equipment. So sa parte ng barangay, ang kanilang respective share ay nanggaling sa kanilang mga savings at sa parte naman ng LGU, ang 50% share ng LGU ay galing sa general fund. Now being fully operational, the Modern Material Recovery Facility is envisioned to be a self-sustaining facility and even hoping that it would generate local job and income for our local people. Uh, alam nyo kasi itong MRF na ito, uh, it is what we call the Material Recovery Facilities. Ang gusto ko saan ang mangyari dito. Dahil dito magkaroon tayo ng job generation at mawala din yung mga tinatawag natin problema sa basura through zero waste management. No, ang, ang kagandaan kasi ng MRF na ito, nagbibigay na siya ng trabaho, wala pang, wala pang waste na natitira at yung mga waste na nakukuha doon sa talagang waste na napubo na nagagawa dito sa ating bayan ay naikukonvert niya sa tinatawag natin organic fertilizer at saka doon sa tinatawag natin bricks we now witness how the facility shall work in treating every piece of waste and garbage in the process and ends up into a usable material either as compost or construction materials depends on the nature of the waste.
hindi dahil meron tayong ganito, ay kakalimutan na natin yung ating mga advocacy sa kalinisan. Kahit meron tayong MRF na talaga namang effective sa pagkatanggal ng ating mga basura, ay dapat din ang ating mga taong bayan ay magkaroon sila ng pagtulong sa ating pamahalaan upang sila na mismo ang uh, tumulong sa paglinis ng ating bayan at matulungan nila ang tinatawag nating task force kalinisan na kung saan ang bawat isa ang mga teacher, ang mga estudyante, ang mga business sector, ang LGU at lahat ay magtulong-tulong para sa kalinisan ng ating bayan. Lastly, we come into conclusion that everything in this world has an importance if being put in proper perspective. Our waste materials which are seem useless in our eyes could be source of living for many of us. Bumabon kay ganda kay saya Ganda dito'y nakahaha